welcome to this week's card class. This week I really wanted to make cards using um, some new products and making cards that were kind of summery. Um, so I'm pretty excited to share them with you. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first card that we're gonna be making, um, I wanted to use this new die cut from Memory Box. It's called a Whittle Cactus. It is so cute. Isn't this adorable? So the cactus die cut officially only has these three little cacti in it. It's they're pretty sweet, aren't they? Um, but for this card, I cut the um, cacti, the same die cut out of three different shades of this kind of green. So we have a light dark. Um, just because I thought they were all cactus colors and they all look really kind of great with this card. Okay. So that is my plan. Um, my, sorry, I dropped something. Um, my idea with this card is that it kind of has a little bit of a kind of Arizona feel. So maybe if you have an Arizona friend, this might be a great card to send to them. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to do here is we are going to lay down our ivory piece on the front of our card base here. Okay. And I recommend using tape, um, double-sided tape, because if you use glue, this paper is so lightweight that it might warp if you decide to use glue. We're going to go ahead and mount that on the front of the card here, onto the dark green card base. And there is a very small border, about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, it might actually be even skinnier than that, but it's quite nice. And then what we're going to do for this piece here, I cut this at four inches by six inches. There's a score line so you can fold that up like so, okay? All right, so this is my thought on this. You're going to put some double-sided tape along the back side. Um, at the moment, we're just going to put it right here like this, just a little strip of that. And then I'm going to take my gold ribbon, which I love. I'm going to wrap it to the back side and then bring it around to the front. Notice I did not put any adhesive here. This ribbon is what's going to hold that down for the time being. And then we're going to bring that ribbon around to the back side and stick it to the double-sided tape. Okay, so that way it's nice and tight. But the little pocket that we've created here, it's not glued down. Okay, all right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take um, this kind of cool piece of um, paper that I kind of... I personally feel kind of looks a little Arizona-y. I use the um, Wild Honey Distress Ink with my blending brush and a stencil. And that, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but it's a little bit darker down here and a little bit darker here, but it's kind of lighter. Just kind of makes it so your eyes um, draws more to the focal point and the middle of the card, okay? All right, so in this case, we're gonna put double-sided tape all the way around the back. And then you'll notice um, I included this thank you ribbon. If you don't want the thank you sentiment, you don't have to use it. Um, but for the front here, what I did was I have the thank you. I have one here and I actually cut two um, because I want to be able to wrap this to the back side. Okay. So I don't want to be able to see the, the other thank you. I'm just going to wrap that to the back. That's going to stick in place. And now for now, well, even though we haven't glued this down yet, now we're going to put some double-sided tape on the back where that ribbon is. So there's double-sided tape on all four sides back here. And we're going to mount this on our green card. And you're going to need to tuck that into that little pocket. Um, and as you tuck it down, you're going to stop when you have an even border of green on all three sides, the top, left, and on the right. Okay? So that is my idea and plan there. So hopefully your paper is cut a little bit more straight than mine. Oh, I just bit my end up. Okay, there we are. All right? So this is what you end up with at the moment. Okay, now... I'm going to take some double-sided tape. Oh, before I glue that, sorry. I'm going to um, cut a little flag here where the thank you is. So you start at the corner here, and you're just going to cut to the middle, okay? If you happen to have some fabric scissors, that's really going to be best for this because it is fabric ribbon. If you don't, you just need some really sharp scissors, again, cutting right to the middle. Um, all right, so that's, that's my thought there. All right, now you're going to put double-sided tape on here, a little strip of that, fold it over, and ta-da! There we have a thank you card. Isn't that sweet? All right, well, our front thank you sentiment, rather. All right, now we're going to mount this onto the ivory. Double-sided tape on all four sides back here, especially across where the ribbon is. Now we're going to mount it onto the ivory. Again, there's gonna be about a 16th of an inch border on all four sides of the ivory, just drawing your eye again to the center there. And I needed to include the ivory because the sentiment here is ivory, and I don't have any other of that color on Okay, so now we're going to make a cute little assortment of some little cacti. So you can kind of stick them here. Um, you can kind of arrange them however you'd like, especially if you want to do like two little groupings. How cute would that be? 
I don't want them to be exactly the same on both sides. We can kind of, you know, tuck them in there and kind of see what would be cute. Um, for me personally, I'm probably going to do a series of these. And I'm going to keep um, probably maybe three, maybe four out. Um, so we'll do four or one, two, three, four, five. We'll do five on the front and I'll do four on the inside. Okay, so that's my thought. Um, I'm going to use some glue to stick those in place. Let's stick these little guys in here. I guess I'll go off to the side. And you can like overlap them a little bit if you'd like. And you can actually stick them up a little bit higher so you can actually see. And you can kind of act like maybe um, this is like the ground down here. So maybe that's maybe where they'll start poking out. And you don't want to put like all the same color together. Like I probably wouldn't put like all of this right here and then only do dark on the far side. I have a dark one here, so I'm going to do another dark one maybe right here and then break it up with a different color, um, a couple different colors in between. Make, keep in mind that the circly one does have a flat side, so just be aware of that. All right, and I'm, I did do some overlapping over here because I thought that was nice. And if you want, you can cut some of these apart and rearrange them in different ways if they look too symmetrical to you or too the same, like to their other counter, counterparts. All right, and I made them kind of wonky and kind of fun just because I think that's kind of cute. But you can arrange your little cacti any way you'd like. Isn't that so sweet? Oh my gosh, I love this card. So happy with how it's coming together. All right, on the inside, since I never know who has what color pens to write on, I'm going to do um, this same color of mustard yellow paper, but with no stenciling. This, it is the same color I started with, for, just so you know, for doing the stenciling. And on the inside, there's going to be a nice, looks like a little over a quarter inch border on all four sides. All right. Then to finish this off, even though I was fun and funky with the cactus on, or the cacti on the front, I'm going to keep these guys kind of upright, kind of up and down. So I'm going to glue this cactus in place. And then I'm going to do, since I have two of the same color here, I'm not going to put those right next to each other. So, oh no, oh no. I have to be more careful about that. I can't have the two of the same shape next to each other either. Oh, it's a good thing I caught that before my glue totally dried there. There we go. Should have laid those down first and then glued. Measure twice, cut once. Even though it's not technically measuring, should. I'm supposed to arrange it and then glue it, Ellie. My goodness. All right, there we are. And then we have our little cactus on the far side. Do you ever have a situation where you get glue all over the place? Like in this case, I accidentally messed up here and I glued my um, image down and then um, I worked it up before it totally dried and now I have glue left over. Do you know that there's an eraser for that? I'm just going to show it to you. I've shown you guys this before, but some of you might not have seen. This really weird product, it's called an adhesive eraser. It looks like this. It's really gross looking especially because I've had stuff stuck to it. Um, but are you ready for this? It actually pulls away glue. You wanna make sure the glue is totally dry. If you rub it across your paper, it actually only picks up the glue off of your paper. It's actually pretty amazing. Now, of course, my die cut is moving on me, but once I get all my glue off, I can re-glue them. I know I'm taking forever doing this, but I just have to show you that it does actually work and it's pretty amazing. All right, so now even though I got glue everywhere, now it's gone, I can re-glue my cactus die cut in place and there's not excess glue all over the place. It's pretty amazing. So anyways, that's the card, but also isn't that eraser amazing? Pretty incredible. Okay. So there we have our card. Isn't that so cute, you guys? Oh my gosh, I just love it. All right, on to the next card.